My name is Clancy Garou. Benjamin Blandina. Bryson Klein. A team of senior mechanical engineering students were tasked to update a filament winding machine for Schaumburg Fluxidux Corporation, which is a company that manufactures ducting for mining applications. So Schaumburg produces a bunch of products essentially for the mining industry that are in the States and international. Their big product line is flexible ducting, which is used in ventilation systems and HVAC systems. But they also do rigid ducting, which is what our, our project focuses on. This ducting can range from one foot in diameter to seven feet in diameter. Filament winding is a process of fabricating composite materials in which continuous fibers are wound onto a rotating mandrel in a precise, predetermined pattern. The machine draws multiple strands of fiber through a bath of resin, which is then wound into a helical pattern up and down the mandrel. This pattern is determined by the rotational speed of the mandrel and the traversing speed of the trolley. The machine has been in production for over 30 years. It is labor intensive and no major improvements have been made. There's just a lot of stuff that's outdated. It's breaking down. You go to buy replacement parts. It's like, oh, sorry, they haven't made that for the last 10 years. Good luck. So you have to manufacture your own. Uh, you can't really dial in a lot of the stuff too, so it's not very accurate. They're wasting a lot of material and our system allows for them to essentially not waste as much material and then eliminate as many operators on the machine. The speed of the machine is manually controlled by a series of push buttons and adjustment knobs. This lack of automation can lead to flawed ducting and wasted material. The primary goal of this project was to design and build a tenth scale model of the filament winding machine and a full scale industrial control system that is capable of automating the manufacturing process. So we took their full size machine and we built a small tenth scale model of it for our purposes to help us test so we don't use their machine create downtime on their machine, they can still use their machine to create you know, product and make money. So we use a model and then we use that model and we actually test it. We use a computer to program, write code, and then that computer runs the entire machine so there's no or very little hand input. The tent scale model consisted of constructing the main frame, the traversing frame, the traversing drive system, and the rotary drive system. The control system for the winding machine utilizes a programmable logic controller, which is programmed using ladder logic code. A touchscreen interface or HMI is used to select the size of the ducting. A proximity sensor is used to count down the passes of the operation. Rotary encoders track the RPM of the motors and variable frequency drives adjust the motor speed to control the accuracy of the wind. It's more efficient in that there's a computer operating it, so the computer is constantly reading sensors and checking back and adjusting the speed real time instantly, rather than a human having to wait and adjust it based on what he thinks is the right speed. Overall, the automation of the machine should reduce flawed ducting as well as eliminate wasted material, making a better product and saving money for Schaumburg Fluxidux Corporation. For me, the biggest thing that I've gained through this is just knowledge. A lot of the stuff that we are using, the technology we're using, we've actually never used before in classes. So it's been a big learning experience, learning how to use it, what it all means, what it represents, and then I can take that and take it into my career. Uh, ideally, I like to win it, win the student showcase, won it my freshman year, which was kind of cool and definitely helped on resumes. Uh, granted, it won't help me for pursuing a job because I already have one, um, but I think it'd be cool to have just kind of bragging rights, especially for the amount of money and time that we've spent on this. So. There's huge difference. Um, big thing's the money. I mean, freshman year, you don't get 40 grand to play with. <laughs> which justifiably is, is right. Um, as far as the technical aspect too, we know so much more and why stuff works. So I've always been tinkering with toys, taking things apart. When I was a kid, I'd take little remote control cars apart and my airsoft guns and try and make them better and you know, just make them faster, go better. So I've always been tinkering with things. And then in high school, I took a few classes on CAD and I fell in love.